Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem where on our map swap that we achieved by having Hector, Lin and Eloa's level lower than 50 we fight Lloyd who is currently moving around to face us wherever we're moving so with Matthew and Sarah standing in defense on forts we're looking to keep him preoccupied though we have other Myrmidons around we may as well use Sarah to do a little bit of damage to them and try to cull their numbers a little bit as we move upwards ever forwards so Let's get defeating more units here with an Iron Axe because we send low one up to try and rescue Wallace as fast as possible. Of course swords beat axes here but with Raven now gaining the ability to use axes we want to gain that weapon skill as much as possible because his stats are really really good and insane at this point. So let's keep moving forward. And everyone tries to run away from the main battle that's going on over there. Just ignoring it completely. Moving onwards, so to be honest we could probably actually move some more guys over there to be able to deal with Lloyd when we want. Maybe Fiori will be a good candidate for that considering the lances. But as we get Hector re-energized for another move, let's continue onwards. Should we maybe get ourselves the blister at this point in time? Okay, can we move any more? Oh, oh! Forgot about the guy, forgot about the hero. That's a bit worrying then. Well, Matthew should be able to live anyway because he's got a vulnerary on him. He should be able to live that. Plus, if we sent Kanas back, Kanas could do some healing, to be honest. Well, let's end the turn and keep going on this fog of war land. So we really thought Lloyd would have been way, way back on the castle, but as Matthew dodges there, things get quite a bit easier for us because the forts can heal us over time. He'll always want to be attacking us from range. He doesn't do much damage to Sarah. Matthew finishes off another member of the opposition there. To be honest, I think these two can tank forever. Considering their overall stats, Matthew's probably the only one that can't be doubled by Lloyd. So that's not a problem as Matthew levels up as well. The main problem now, of course, if that's the case, is Matthew maxing out his level. Not something we really want to happen just yet. Right, in the meantime, Will gets doubled by the hero, which is not so good, but we can get someone in to heal him soon enough. It seems there's someone from range with a blister that wants to attack- Oh, no, no, no! Wallace, do not move towards Lloyd, please. Right, Matthew heals up a ton. In the meantime, we can get Kanas in to heal. Will up quite nicely. In fact, full HP, so that's not bad at all. Hector, we can get you to smash this guy down, or maybe we can't overall. You can double us, but we can't double you. Well, the Silver Rex will hit for... Yeah, you're not really the guy to do this, are you? Nor is Lin at this point. So, maybe Fiora. Do you want to get in and do some damage here? We've been begging to do some, more or less. Alright, we got nothing that can really double this guy. That's a shame again. I guess the only one that's really able to is Raven here. He's pretty beefy. Yes, Raven can double him. How much speed does Raven have at this point in time? Right, 23 speed. Well, he could double Lloyd at this point, I think. So that would be amazing. Alright, an Iron Sword will just do, or an Iron Axe will just do, to be honest. Seems Raven takes out everyone for us now. He is our Superman. Now, Ella would play through, he didn't end up that brilliant. You've got to say, I think overall his strength was a bit low down, but this time round he's ridiculous. So I can keep moving forward. Can't really attack anyone from here, there's no one to attack. And if someone is being... Bl is it someone blistering him or is there an archer in the... In the fog? Because if someone to blister him, it would be either here or here. So yeah, doesn't seem that that's the case then. Right, apart from that, what I need to do is I need to kind of help you out a little bit, sir. Or find someone that can talk to you. Let's move Fiora in and get to the village, then. Long ago, I used to work in Bran's royal palace. I was Prince Zephiel's teacher of history. The prince is a wise lad. He's a royal family's first prodigy. Yet King Desmond ignores the boy's talents and they wither. Here, I'd like you to take this. This is an earth seal. This one item contains the powers of many. Knight Crest, Guide Ring, Hero Crest, Elysian Whip. I am unsure why I would entrust this treasure to a complete stranger. I cannot explain it, but I have a feeling. 
For some reason, I believe you will aid the prince. Strange. Go on, humor an old man and take it. Alright then, we gained ourselves an Earth Seal, which we could use to get Florina to level up as well, so that's not too bad. Now, about these guys. Are they able to get in at Wallace at this point? Well, it doesn't seem it. We could even get a certain someone here to train some arena. But against a Fire Mage, that doesn't sound too good for us, does it? As long as we hit the next one, we'll be fine. Oh, we got doubled. Well, we managed to take you down all the same, but that's a bit worrying. Oswin may have got some experience, but yeah. Probably not as worth it as we would have hoped. We want Sarah to kind of heal him up at this point now. Hmm. Well, if you're going to keep hitting Matthew, we've got that kind of solved, so we could move Bartra up again. And then I guess move the rest of the guys through. I guess we could buy more weaponry as well, but we don't really need it at this point in time. Our weapons are actually doing fairly well for us. So keep everyone moving upwards. In fact, Ninian might be best on the front lines just to help Sarah or something like that. Right, so... Our main target, of course, is Wallace here, plus another village. It doesn't seem like there's probably that many units left on the map. Alright, this time around you went for Sarah. You can double, but luckily we did dodge again, and we can always vulnerate ourselves back up. I guess maybe with him leveling up a little bit, there is definitely someone attacking me from range over there. Is there a hidden ballista? Well, in the meantime, Wallace gets himself in trouble. I'd say against these sword guys, he's not really going to have that much of a bad time, but it's apart from that that we're worried about. Alright, Sarah, nicely done healing up. Matthew heals up as well. It's too bad we can't steal anything from this guy. Alright, can we rescue you? No, we can't. So what we need is someone in there that can maybe, you know, just... I, I don't know, defeat the foes. Alright, let's take out this one. If anyone's going to be able to rescue it, it's probably Fiora at this point in time. So with Lowen, I should be looking for this archer. Now, how far can you attack now? Okay, you can attack out that range. That's disappointing, because next time we go in then, we could always javelin or short spear. So javelin works quite well. I'll take out another one of them. There we go. But I don't want you walk walking forward any more than you are. My best bet then would be to actually send someone like you up way, way far, try to defeat the foe in front of us and get an extra bit of vision to figure out what's going on, see if Fiora can move up. There's that one dealt with. Ah, we found our blister guy at last. Maybe, maybe then you'll go for that instead of this guy, however, we now have the worry of you being doubled, Bartra. Right, you will get doubled indeed. This will be horrible the next turn, more or less. What I need, really, is you in there. But your HP is so low. Hmm. Maybe we could do it that way. Right, this is the way I'm going to play it, play it then. Sarah's going to move to here, wait, Fiora is going to move to here and provide the extra block. Apart from that we'll switch to something like an Iron Lance, so we've got Weapon Triangle win. And hope that he goes for range on me rather than close. I doubt that's going to happen, but all the same. Right. Move Ninian in somewhere, and then hope for the best that everything works out over here. Take out that guy, no one else. And then we still need someone to go off on a trek. 
for that village before the battle was over. Just making this all work now is just ridiculous. Hector, maybe go up and visit that village and everyone else can just chill out because, well, there's not much for else for us to do at this point in time. I guess the only other thing I could do is move Kanas down there and try to get him back to heal after our original decision to cut shore and leave. Let's keep you two together and see how next turn ends up. Right, you did move away from Matthew. Okay, that's not good. Because what I don't want to happen... Ooh, that was bad. Right, Oswin barely survives. Right, then that's, that's not bad. That's what I was hoping for. If anyone Wallace was to defeat, it would be that guy. So we're actually a little bit better off, funnily enough. Well, we still have no way of recruiting you just yet, unless we can talk with you, no. Right, you've blocked me off, nastily. But we do gain ourselves some extra void if we can get to some certain places. Alright, maybe we can use the Fiora runs now and tries to rescue Wallace strategy. That doesn't look so bad. If Matthew can bring himself back down here into a rel relatively okay location, he can use a Vulnery, keep himself alive. That gives you only a couple of targets to hit, one of which is not you, so that's quite good. Attack over here. Iron Blade will do, won't it? This is crazy. We're just trying to run around, get everyone in the right position, the right places. One thing we're yet to do is to get Wallace yet. Right, so we've got you on the blister. Oh, you can't cross the bridge. Well, that's rubbish. And then maybe get you through and go to the village, finally? Doesn't seem like any thief's reached the point yet. We'll visit over here, try to lure him down. Uh, is there something I can help you with? I have an injured man here, please keep your voice down. No, I don't know anything about the Black Fang. Leave, please, you'll upset my patient. I'm sure I will. Well, in the meantime, we can get Guy going up as well, so let's see who you choose as your next opponent, Mr. Guy. Uh, apart from that, we can get... If we wait here, then we can get a nice mend over. We shall sort Oswin out for his overall doom and death. Now, the other thing is here that we might get doubled spell cast here on Oswin, but to be honest, he can't move past the fort. So what we can do is we can dance here. You shouldn't be able to reach Ninian, should you? No. And get Oswin out of there next. This is juggling to make sure people don't die and people don't kill him. We have the power to kill this boss on like turn three. We could have ended it that far ago. Alright, so Lindis keeps moving as well. And then we'll see what the next turn brings. Okay, you are going for Matthew again. So if Matthew moves again and uses a Vulnery, we've got that safe. Oh, there's another Axeman, is there? So I guess you're going for that guy, aren't you, sir? Wallace took out most of the opposition himself. Oh, you didn't finish him? Okay, we got ourselves some reinforcements appearing. I guess they'd appear on forts in general, so we're not too worried. Matthew can move to here, use a vulnerary, he's nice and safe. In fact, if we want to, we can again use heal, Ninian Dance, remove back, so that's all good. We could shine again if we really wanted to get the tiniest bit of extra damage on. But this is what we're after. We still can't rescue! So I guess the only other option is to get Lindis up as far as possible. Unless there's someone else that can recruit. 
I guess we try everyone. We try to get everyone in position and see if we can, but if it's anyone, it's probably someone he knows, so Will might be it. Well, this is too heavy to be rescued, though. How annoying is that? Right, we can get to this point, so we will. In the meantime, I guess we take out the forces that are around us, because why not, eh? It's free experience, after all. Especially if you're criticals like that. Will we finish this map this episode? It's sort of looking unlikely at this point, isn't it? Alright, we can attack here, Iron Blade yet again, I'll finish the job. Smack right your brain, sorry about that, the Golden Knight will take you down. Alright then, so we're still defending everything down here, but everything is looking a little bit better, as a whole. And now that I've taken Lindus this way, I guess the only way to do this is maybe to pick him up with, pick Lindus up with Fiora and take her past? Maybe that's what I should have done in the first place. Right then. We know that Matthew's probably going to be attacked again here. But this time Dodger, so we'll get healed up by the fort. That's nice and safe. Shouldn't be any more enemies around unless the more of them are spawning, of course, which they are. Wallace will sort out another one. I wonder what level Wallace is now. Right, you went for Will, did you? Well, that's nasty of you, but you only do two damage to me. Uh, at least now Wallace is far away from battle. Right, this map turned out really chaotic, and we've got ourselves reinforcements in nasty places, but thankfully we've moved back forces, so we actually have people to be able to engage this. Now, apart from that, it's how many people can engage this. Bartra definitely can, Kanas definitely can, but who does best? Alright, Lunar will take that guy out, no problem. It's the Swordmaster guy I'm worried about, though. Right, I'm guessing Bartra would take one of these guys out in one swoop. Very much so. So as we see more and more reinforcements coming, Bartra levels up once again. Gets some extra speed, which is not bad at all. Right, we can always Ninian strike there. The thing is, I'd like to get Lin on them, but then you just don't know if things will work out so well. So we can't Luno, can't Eclipse, can't... Oh, we can one-shot Nos this guy. We can really one-shot Nos this guy. That was a drain of HP. And then just one more opponent left, I guess we dance Bartra back to war. That'll work out quite nicely, that's for sure. Attack again, one Iron Axe to the brain. Or a big spin of doom. Man, Bartra does things in style. Right, so we're safe. Oh, there's another one! Right, Lin, can you do this one? Manakati times two, Iron Sword times two, it's a risk with Lin. Not so much with Oswin, though, who can get in with a nice javelin strike first. Is that the only other reinforcement, though? That's the real problem. If there's more, then we're in trouble. But Iron Sword will take this one down. But I want Lin to get up there, don't I? Right, so that's that one taken care of. All those reinforcements done. In the meantime, I guess we keep on moving upwards. Alright, so we can get a nice iron bow strike on you to easily take you out. In fact, one steel bow will do. I can't believe that no one can rescue him. That's just the thing that's messed with me so much. Oh, and we've now kind of unrevealed a certain someone that was around. So Hector, if you go there, can you reveal him again? Because then Guy can get down and sort this one out. Or maybe not. Oh no, we can, definitely. Disappearing sword strikes from Guy.
And then we can just easily get in with Florina, I guess, or low in if we really want to. Who's the lowest level here? Well, F Fiora, even, not Florina, can easily take him out. Oh, maybe not. Again, just, just short. So we actually have to combine double with these ones to take them down? Because of their Swordmaster status, they seem to be providing me problem. That's for sure. Javelin is probably the best weapon to do it with in terms of hit rating. Silver Sword's on him, and nasty enough. And it seems we'll not get to finish this this episode. We need to get you round to Lin ASAP, but in the meantime, Fiora will hit. Take that one down to make sure that Wallace stays safe and level up on top of that. And one HP. What a rubbish level in the end. Right, so, with Lloyd still around as the only opposition that we know of, it's still not got that music that says we've definitely only got one guy around. We visit the town to get our last item. Stop right there! Who? No need for alarm. For reasons of my own, I wear the garb of the Black Fang. But I'm a loyal citizen of Lycia, and I am not your enemy. A woman now leads the Black Fang around by the nose. When at last you confront her, use this staff. This woman is the ringleader you seek. Her name is Sonia. Do not forget, Sonia. As we get ourselves a silent staff. So, with still more to do and more enemies somewhere around on the map, will we be safe next turn? Tune in next episode to find out on Fire Emblem. Goodbye.